Alright. Alright. I thank God for last night's rest this morning rise. Thank God for his grace and his mercy. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve. And mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. How the brothers doing? Good. Alright. My name is Derek McKnight. My partner Robert Hayes. He's here in spirit, but he's not here in the physical. Together we call the minds of men. Nonprofit, spiritual organization. We don't deal with religion. I've been on drugs for 20 years. I've been clean for 14 years. But all I got is what? Today. Um, one thing I realized with doing this since the year 2006 is that um, illustrations really help. How you doing? Good. Illustrations really help um, with our presentations. Because sometimes you can talk a brother and he goes, his mind will take flights on you. But usually if you put the illustration up there, he can see what you're talking about. He can hear what you talk about. And most importantly, we can probably keep that brother's mind and his attention here. Right? Um, brother man, what's your name, soldier? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do it to like maybe like um, 2.45 and I got to go, okay? Go All right, that's good. All right. Okay. Um, this afternoon, we're going to talk about the yin and the yang. Active addiction mindset and a recovery mindset. This right here, active addiction mindset, these elements enforce a mindset or individual to use drugs, right? Clean and crazy. Dry drunk syndromes. Everybody know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. We relax mentally before we pick up physically. Everybody understand that? Yes. All right, so these are some elements that take us there. Over here is how we stay jail-free, drug-free, stress-free, sucker-free, right? And then to give you all some housing information, education information, some job information, then I'm gonna be like Michael Jackson. Y'all ready? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get in and out like bank robbers, all right? Let's have fun, all right? Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Let's go. Active addiction side. All right, stressors. Do we know our stressor? What can cause us to cause us stress? And stress can cause us to what? People lie to you. Say it again. People lie to you. Okay. Money. Okay. Money. People lie to us. Spouse. Spouse. Stress. What else? Stressors. How about bad decisions? Yeah. All right. Stressors. How about your roommate? Could be a stressor, all right? How about kids, huh? Can be. Can be, right. Um, how about when we got a king baby syndrome and we get stressed for no reason because we can't get our way? Anybody stress their own selves out? Yeah, been there before, all right? Stressors, all right? Stressors are a blessing, you know why? Because they help me grow spiritually. Anybody hear that? The brother in here who I smoke cigarettes with, bust it up, tell jokes, eat, watch TV, Go on appointments together. Sometimes individuals like that could throw me under the bus. But the brother here who I that get on my nerves that remind me of the person I don't like. New face, same behavior. That brother who helped me get an aneurysm. That brother who wanna make me might make me cause me to go be, go back to jail. That brother who's helping me to what? Recover. A lot of people don't see that, but for me, I see that. The most the difficult individuals is the one who really helped me in my recovery. Difficulty before ease. Because if everybody's in compliance, his job is not this less stressful. It's supposed to be the ones who act up, cut corners, manipulate, um, do what they want to do. It makes the job a little bit more difficult. But the people who like that, they're helping what? The facilitator or the, or the therapist or the counselor learn how to what? Deal with the individual. I can't talk to you like I talk to him. Can't talk to you like I talk to him. Can't talk to you like I talk to him. You got to know everybody because everybody don't learn the same way. So stressors are a blessing in disguise. Everybody hear that? How about number two? Self-sabotage. Who self-sabotage a good thing? Yes, we do it to ourselves. I love specifics. Number one, anger. Yeah. Anger. Who suppressed the anger and explode later? Is that dangerous? Yeah, it can be. Okay. All right. If we don't talk about it. And then we explode on people, right? Without a doubt. Okay. Who's passive aggressive? Who plot the scheme? Ones that be quiet and then they, they scheming to get you later. There you go. Very good. That's dangerous too. Um, who's aggressive when you get angry? Those are the ones that step in your face. <laughs> about it, I don't care about parole, probation, yeah. house arrest, this place. Yo, CEO, my judge, back judge, you don't give a damn. Get angry, go off. The Incredible Hulk. Lou Ferrigno, you remember that? I'm 51. He's telling you, you won't like me when I get angry. They push his buttons anyway. And then he, he turned green. Then he beat their ass. Then he destroyed property. And every episode, he when he calmed down, he wake up half naked in the bushes. When we get angry, where we wake up at? Jail. 
Yeah. How much time you got clean, soldier? Me, I got the Hey, all right. God bless. <laughs> anger, passive aggressive, plotting and scheming. Um, suppress angers, holding it, then exploding. Aggressive, don't give a damn. Gonna go off when I feel it. How about jealousy? Envy slides over to jealousy. Envy. Anybody envy anybody? Envy. You do, you do, you do. Yeah? I believe there's cases of that. Okay. It's Can like I? I'm always something jealous about. Somebody make more money or somebody got a good job that I don't have or uh -huh. a nice car or, you know, uh, the nice girl or something. You know, it's something. Right. It's jealous of something in some form. Right. See, when I envy your brother, I don't want to destroy or stop the, bro the blessing the brother's catching. Like he was saying, a job, I want to work. You know what I'm saying? I want to get back with my kids. I, w I mean, I want, to have, um, I want to have a good security. I want to get my credit score up. I want to get a car. I'm tired of being on a bus. When I see somebody who has that, I can envy that. Not to hate on him, but just that I want to be in that situation that he's in also. Jealousy is malicious. That's when you really got problems. Because you try to stop a brother from catching his blessings because you jealous of the brother. Anybody been there before? That block making more money than this block. No, that's good. No, but I do that. I mean, I see a person going across the things. I'm going to be a part of it. I'm going to try to do the same thing you doing. Very good. I'll probably advance myself. Oh, awesome. I'm I must take, not to take pride on you. Okay. I don't, I don't do that, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay. That's called, that's, and, and, and that causes disease, diseases inside you. Very good. Very good. How much time you got clean, brother? Six. Hey, all right. Six what? Six months. All right. God bless. Okay. I've been, down, I've been locked up since November before. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you for sharing that. Envy, jealousy. Got to watch that. That can't cause us to get high again. Is that true? Yeah. Without a doubt. Who by who? who anybody go to NA meetings or AA meetings? And you heard the dinosaurs in there saying they had 10 years and 20 years and 25 years and you couldn't find them having that minute much time. <laughs> anybody been there before? I've been there. Like, damn, why well, I'm here? I only got 30 days. <laughs> only got 30 days. Self-sabotage, what? A good thing over my anger, my jealousy. How about resentments? Anybody got them? Resentments, holding grudges. Destroy relationships over, rela over what? Resentments. Marriages over resentments. Kids over resentments. Pops over resentments. Moms over resentments. Employers over resentments. Myself over resentments. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Holding grudges, having resentments. Anybody there? Anybody stuck? He might duct tape themselves to shame and guilt. Hard for you to break free. Sometimes. Okay. All right. Resentments. Got to learn to what? Let it go. Is that easy said and done? Yes. Can resentments get me high again? Yes. Go get drunk again? Yes. Very good. So what we want to do? Look at it. Deal with it. Live in it. Stew in it. Complain in it. Bitch in it. Or get better with it. Get better with it. Better Right, very good. Why am I got resentment? Who don't hurt people hurt people? The person who hurt us been hurt themselves. Everybody understand that? Some of us, don't, once again, probably don't want to look at it that deep. But if you want to get free, you got to understand the person who, who hurt you. Some people are mad at people that's deceased. They dead, gone, still angry at the dead. I heard stories like that. But I had to realize the person who hurt me, they been hurt themselves. That's what it means to become a psychological detective on the person who what? Violated, hurted us. Because some people only give what was given to them. When you look at it that way, you still might have resentment be less resentments, less grudges. Because you understand that hurt people hurt people. Yeah. All right? That's real. All right? They have to grow their own mind. Huh? They have to grow in their own mind. There you go. Very good. Very good. Mom only did what mom could do. Pop only did what pop can do. Pop left early. It's a lot of dynamics. And got pride issues. And a man who's prideful, a woman who's prideful, ain't going to expose the fact that what? They're guilty or they're wrong. They're going to act as if everything's okay. Resentments. How about defense mechanisms? Anybody got defense mechanisms? And it's hard for me to what? Really recover because I'm hiding behind the wall that I created. Come on, brother. You said something? I said, yeah, we all, we all have uh, this uh, defense mechanism where we, uh, we shut down. Somebody hit us, sometimes they hit us with the truth and we shut down and want to admit it. Uh-huh. Uh, 
the sign of addiction. When somebody says, well, you got a drug problem, you're like, no, I don't. I can, I, I can get high. I can stop anytime I want to. Mm-hmm. And know that's, a, know that's a big lie. Without a doubt. I've been there, too. I used to hate when my mama called me a crackhead. I said, don't call me that. She said, you smoke crack, don't you? Just like my man Joe Clark from Lean On Me. <laughs> yeah, you smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> Go ahead and jump. Hey, defense mechanism, intellectualization, brainiac dum-dums. Anybody so smart still do dumb things. I'm, I'm the smartest guy in the world, but I'm still getting high. Mm. No, the NA text can quote it. In service, got sponsees, still get high. I know sponsors who got high and devastated their sponsees. When the head is sick, the body follows. So I don't give a damn how sick the head is. Damn it, this part of the body that I'm living in, I'm gonna make sure I don't follow suit. Intellectualization. Who remember Bernie Madoff? Who remember Enron, the smartest guys in the room? Yes, smart men who use their intelligence for wickedness. Intellectual brain, intellectualization. How about inappropriate humor? Laughing and joking can be hiding pain, disguising pain. Do pinochle and spades. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Watching TV. Nothing wrong with that. But if I'm hiding behind that, it's a problem. From get up to lay down, all I do is joke and play. From get up out of bed to go back to bed, I haven't worked on me. So the, my scale in my life is what? Unbalanced. Inappropriate humor. Laughing and joking because I'm hiding pain. How about program gangsters? Do they come through here? Do they come through here? They bring jail here. The mountains in here. State in here. Federal in here. County in here. And nobody's afraid of them. They're afraid of who? Themselves. Themselves. It's a mask. How about argumentative? Anybody love to argue? Because that was my smoke screen to get high. I'm from 26 in Huntington. Lions, tigers, and bears. Stop the surrender. Always arguing. Always beefing. Always bucking. Always rebellious. Because I really wanted to get what? High. That was my mask. Have y'all looking that way, I'm moving this way. Defense mechanisms can definitely get me high once again. How about close-minded? Anybody close-minded? Is that dangerous? Can receive information. Cause my mind is what? Close. Because you're Caucasian, I'm not listening. I'm black, he not listening. You Jewish, I'm Hebrew. Uh, uh, you, you Jewish, I'm what? I'm atheist, not listening. You capitalistic, I'm socialist, not listening. You a Democrat, I'm a Republican, not listening. You shot dope, I smoke coke, not listening. You a young head, I'm an old head, mind closed. So I have to learn, I don't give a damn who's speaking before me. I got to keep my mind open, because you'd be surprised where you get your information from. Is that true? Closed-minded, can't receive information to, de to kill the disease of addiction mindset. Who complacent? Who's stuck? Anybody stuck? We're not living, we existing. Everybody know the difference? To live means I'm incorporating something in my life. My life has meaning now. My life has purpose now. I'm doing something about my life. To exist means I'm just breathing. That's it and that's all. Everybody, yeah. No work. No work. I'm complacent. I'm, remember back in the day, women, the more, more children women had, the bigger they check was? Yep. They was complacent on what? Democrat, on government what? Assistance. The more children you have, the bigger your check. And some women just got what? Complacent. Or what? Receiving government what? Assistance. How about cockiness? Who got cocky, got knocked out like Rocky? Have I been there before? Look at me, my weight is up. Got high again. Look at me, I got a good job. Got high again. Got to go car up there. You want to go for a ride? Eventually got high again. Yo, talking down on people, judging them, and forgot where I came from. Got high again. I'm superior, you inferior. Got high again. Got cocky, got knocked out like Rocky. Not physically, but spiritually and mentally. Cockiness. Red light indicator, and I stay on the plantation of active addiction. How about self-pity con artists? Stay in here. On the lyrics of the record they play from what? Wednesday to Wednesday. The lyrics on the record is legitimate. But if that's all you play all day long is get tired. Counselors get up and won't leave. They just shouldn't. They're not supposed to. But people just get tired of hearing the same old record. 
So a person who want to get better with his pain on the lyrics on his record, he start looking for solutions for his pain on his record. Because if you don't get solutions, it becomes manipulation. And I use self-pity con artist tactics to get sympathy, to get tokens, to get empathy, to get rise up the street, to get in the woman bed in her drawers. Self-pity con artists. All right? Woe is me. All right? Hoping somebody sugarcoat our mess so we can keep manipulating people. But help me die. How about lying? The liars. Decepticons. Decepticons. Today, when I do lie, I have a conscience. I don't like to lie. So when lies come off my lips, I feel something. Back in the day, I didn't give a damn. If I lied, I had to lie. To live. Live what? Lie to save face and save ass out there on the streets. Because listen, streets don't play fair. So I was a lot of things I wasn't. The front for cats who didn't give a damn about me. So out there I lied and here I got to learn to be honest if I want to recover. And stop worrying about people. Worrying about what you think about me. Kept me a liar. How about stealing? Any thieves in here? Socks missing. T-shirts missing. Cigarettes missing. Stealing. Laundry lights. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Stealing. And that comes from out there bringing in treatment. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Had a house manager forgot where he came from. He didn't go to group. He took his name off the chore list. When we went to group, he raped the whole house and stole from everybody. And everybody was looking for him. And he wound up getting high again, stealing. How about a brother who, who don't say nothing at all? No, never share. Why are you here? Never talk about himself. Don't even, you gotta, you gotta get in his mouth and pull teeth like a dentist and still won't talk. It's surface. Trust issues, fear issues. Misery and bitter, all of that to call why I don't want to speak up or talk about my life because I'm not going to be here forever. So if I play in here, I die out there. Some of us go home to hell. They don't give a damn about us. They don't think we should be here. You can stop. You can keep smoking weed, damn it. Go ahead. What's wrong with a little bit of dope? As long as it ain't fit, no. Go ahead. You don't use all perks. Get some zannies. What they worried about? You can take a drink. It's legal. Some, some support. Some of us go home to that. Shooting dope in the basement. Smoking crack in the bathroom. Kids, nephews, nieces, cousins, juggling perks and zannies in your face. So I don't, I, I, listen, I can't play. Straight up and down. And if it means me going to take my ass to a shelter, I will do that before I go home to death. Because from a shelter, you get your room. And from a room, get an apartment. From an apartment, get home. Process, hold on. Stealing. How about fear? Who's afraid of success? So you self-sabotage. We talked about it already. All right? Who's afraid of failure? Get on your march. Get set. We don't go. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Because I'm afraid of what? To fail. How do you see failure? I see failure as what? Fertilizer. Every time I fail, I learn about me. I relapse eight times. Every time I relapse was a blessing in disguise. I couldn't see me until I relapsed. Thank God for my relapse. You never know a good one until you had a bad one. So thank God for the bad that helped me see me clearly to see her super clearly. Thank God for the bad. When it rains, I thank God for the rain. Mondays, I start saying, oh, God, it's Monday. Thank God for Monday. Complaining and blaming. I forgot to put that up there. That need to be up here, too. Keep me on the active addiction, on the plantation of using. Complaining and bitching all day long. Afraid of success, so I self-sabotage. Afraid of failure, so I don't go. I stay where I'm comfortable. I stay where I only know where I can succeed. But you stop growing. How about who's afraid of change? Want to be the same man coming in here leaving? What's the fear about changing? Anybody want to talk about that? Why well, it's hard to change? It's unknown. It's change, unknown. You, you say what? You don't change, you don't grow. Very good. Very good. Do you think if you change, it's a form of weakness? It's like some men don't like to be vulnerable. Because when you're vulnerable, now you what? You open. To what? Ridicule. And laughed at. And judged. And condemned. And marginalized. But so what? Let them do that. But you're free. But a lot of us have issues like that to open up because the unfamiliar of what? Changing. 
If you sold drugs, now you gotta get a legitimate, legitimate job. You know how I pay for this to a lot of brothers? Now you gotta go legitimate. Now the state wants some. Now federal wants some. And now guess what? You got old child support. They take a chunk of your check. And you look at your check, and before you cash your check, you like, I worked my ass off, got up early for this. Now you gotta make a decision. Do you continue having integrity or go back to the streets and die? And when cats sell drugs, they open up the doors for what? For their family to be at risk of danger. Because when they can't get you, they're coming from who they love. Look at the whole big picture right there. So I got to change. Change we must or die we will. How about this right here? Power and control. The terrorists. If I can't have you, nobody else will. I'm talking about women, relationships. Anybody used to be like that? I used to be like that. Terrorists, if I can't have you, and I didn't even wanna. I just didn't want you to have nobody that what? I know. Yeah, the terrorists. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Murder, suicide. A lot of that jump off. Everybody hear that? Cause we worship women. Worship the vagina. And when she leaves, if she decides to leave, one thing I learned too that women leave way before we know they're gone. Mentally, she been left. Spiritually, she been out of here. But the last to leave is our ass. That's the physical. And because I see it every day, I think everything's okay. Closed minded. You are listen, you lying to yourself. She been gone. Anybody hear that? That's real. And a lot of us, we get we do everything to get the woman. And we stop doing everything to keep the woman. And you gotta stay, you gotta keep it spont spontaneous. Come in the house one day like Batman. I don't know. Do something different. As far as I said, keep it alive. Go picnic and do just do something out of the what un unusual. Because that's why some girls love bad boys. Because it's exciting. They don't know what's gonna happen next. But a brother who's a robot, he's predictable, that gets boring after a while. So we gotta keep the flavor alive. Very important. Terrorists, if I can't have you, damn it, nobody else will. And that's dangerous, all right? Because worship somebody and they have the right to leave. Just because you give them kids, they can still leave. We gave them clothes, they can still leave. We let them get a house, we help them get a house, they can still leave. We gave them money, we got them clothes and all that. They can still go. But a brother who's what? A terrorist, emotional terrorist. He not having that. Now the relationship becomes a hostage ship. How about number two? Dr drill sergeant. The drill sergeant. You know what they are? That's the one who what? The stalkers. Any stalkers in here? Used to be. I used to be in bushes. What? <laughs> I used to be in car seats. Lean back, looking, checking. That used to be me. Wasting a lot of time on a woman who didn't want me. Ever hear that? Drill sergeants. Nobody ain't like that. Who fell in love with a stripper? <laughs> Got a hand? What happened? <laughs> Y'all still together? Okay. <laughs> I want to have you out clean, soldier. Hey, all right. God bless you. All right, the drill sergeant. Protocol, all right? How about what? The player. Any players in here? Because I've been hurt, I play. I won't get close. She likes me. I can't see that. She wants me. I don't want to hear that. I'm going to push you away before things get what? More serious. Because I've been hurt before. The player. Hate the word commitment. So they always plan. Anybody been there before? Who look for weak prey? You know what I'm talking about? Women that's getting high. Women that's getting drunk. Women that walk on one leg, women who have no esteem, women who want a, a can soda or a hoagie or goddamn Lucy cigarette. Those ones, yeah. Easy targets. Very seldom you hear the word no coming from her lips. Yeah. <laughs> but the one got good credit, the one that works, and the one don't need to go to church or on, on her dean and listen, and she prays and she studies and she got good credit and she with her kids and she, listen, she have a foundation, she got boundaries. That woman I stay away from. Cause she don't need my chump change or my penis. Yeah, this the easy targets. The ones that's thirsty, that's dying. I'll take that one. That make me feel like something. How about Mr. Sensitive? Who cry here and still beat ass? Mr. Sensitive. Get emotional and still put in a headlock. You might know about? Yeah. Talk about your deep secrets and still lock in the closet. 
for the half. You come out when I get home. Oh my goodness. All right, okay. How about Rambo? Rambo and Rambro. At tw yo, at Aiken Spring Garden, 2008, a girl was pregnant, and some guys came to beat up her man or husband or boyfriend, whatever it was. He runs. She fights. They kill her. Yeah, I remember that. I remember and the baby she was carrying. Yeah, she stood there and fought. Yo, her man ran. Very good. good. Good to hear confirmation from the floor. Yes, sir. I remember that. Yeah. And cops was always there. But for some reason, they That's wasn't boring. there. Yeah. That yeah, that was real bad right there. Rambo would have stayed and died. That's Rambo. Rambo will protect his woman from any type of foolishness. But who protects the woman from Rambo when he get crazy? Anybody catch that? Catch 22. He's a good provider, but he whipped my ass. Rambo and Rambro. How about rebellious? Anybody bucking here? Anybody bucking? Wharton, the net says this right here, but damn it, guess what? I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm supposed to be in group, but I'm in my room. I put a smoke cigarettes at an authorized location, but I'm smoking in my room. Nobody ain't no talking about. Rebellious, bucking and beefing. Bucking and beefing. Can I get me high again? Being rebellious? It said, you, if you're rebellious to treatment, guess where you won't be rebellious at? Prison. And if you buck in there, you be in the what? In the hole. To break you. To become what? Obedient. And not being what? Rebellious. Anybody hear that? Yeah, the whole thing ain't like it used to be no more. Yeah. It's a, it's a new generation now. Yeah. That hole is just as good as a bed on the block. <laughs> That's the sad thing. Yeah, but listen, they got people punishment. Listen, they got TV that make make jail comfortable, so you can stay here. For Say it again. It's comfortable as hell for some people. Without a doubt, don't want to come out here. Don't want to deal with what life here. My yeah, uncle, rest in home. rest in peace, was that way. Shawshank Redemption. Stay in jail. They feeding me. Stay in jail. I got money. I have sex with the female CEOs. Stay in jail. If I don't get letters, at least I got family members, people I can talk to, people that I know. But life outside of jail walls. That's, that's yeah. Chest that's from what? That's what we get to live. Yes, sir. Yes. Jail for some people. yes, sir. Yes, sir. And pride won't let them expose the fact that it's hard. That's what keeps you sick. That keeps you sick. Very good, brother. Very good. Rebellious. How about boredom? I'm bored with me and I'm idle with you. I'm in trouble. Let me say that again. <laughs> I'm bored with me, but I'm idle with you. I'm in trouble. You might get bored. How you kill your boredom? Try to, try to do something uh, productive. Uh, now I, I would try to go to a meeting or uh, you know try to talk to somebody. Try to do something uh, yeah, constructive. Very know, good. Something positive. Awesome. How much time you got clean, brother? Uh, three days. Hey, all right. God bless you. Three days, boredom and idle time. Two giants that destroy what? Recovery, because I'm bored, all right? I'm gonna always do what I always did, all right? How about poor support? We talked about that. Depression, let's go there. Let me get positive job information that I'm out of here. Depression, anybody get depressed? How can that what? Cause us to what? Relapse, depression. What lives under depression? Suicide or what? Very good. If you don't catch depression, get to the root of your depression, what caused the depression, we can stay depressed. And if we linger in it too long, it can slip into what? Suicidal ideations. Yeah. Robin Williams. Yeah. Kurt Cobain. The list goes on. Um, Don Cornelius from Soul Train. Stuck his hands in his pocket, pulled out $400, and started Soul Train. And as he got older, he blew his brains out. Yes. Committed suicide. How about my Phyllis Hyman? Gained 300 pounds. Was bipolar. Yeah. She was. She killed herself six days before she turned forty-six. Six hours before performing at the Apollo. How about the girl who was two thousand nineteen Miss Used USA pageant winner in New York City? Jumped off the twenty-sixth floor about two or three months ago. Was a lawyer and beautiful. The world in her hands. She died. She jumped. Depression. It's real. It's real. Anybody hear that? So we don't talk about our depression. We can slip right into what? Suicidal ideations. Anybody get depressed in here? Anybody take meds for their depression? 
Anybody? Nobody depressed? That's good. That's good. How about this? Huh? Without a doubt. I, I got mild cases of depression. You know what I'm saying? When that job I was looking for, they didn't hire me. It's a little depression got to get in there. Right. Get rejected by somebody I liked. Get feeling more depression. You a giver. You always giving. You always helping. You always there. When it's time for you for, for to be reciprocated on what? Your needs and, 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 and you know, and, and the help. And you need a help up or need some money or need some change. Can't find it. Can't get it. And can be what? A little slight depressed. Somebody die that we love. That could cause depression. Situational depression. Yeah, situational depression, right? Blaming God for our plight, for our situation, what's going on. Not knowing that sometimes when you look at, when you look at, say, can you look at, look at, um, karma is real. We look at John Gotti, how he laid down a lot of people, John Gotti. But nothing happened to John Gotti. He just died of what? Cancer in, in, in um, prison. But his son got hit and got killed riding a bicycle. So we never know how pain is going to return to us. You do dirt, you get dirt. DMX said that. That's real. Karma is real, real. How do I say jail free, drug free, stress free, sucker free? Practice spirituality. Number one, stay in prayer. Do y'all pray? Very good. Do prayer helps. Very good. Anybody have foxhole prayers? Foxhole prayers. I hope that coke ain't soap. Foxhole prayers. <laughs> Having sex unprotected, cause you old dirty bastard. Oh baby, I like it raw. <laughs> and we pray, we don't get up with the alphabets. Foxhole what? Prayers. Driving dirty, guns in the car, drugs in the car, and whatever a dead body might be in the car. And we see blue lights behind us. And thank God they kept going right past us. Foxhole prayers. A gun in your face. I got robbed once. Hope he changed his mind on a gun jam. Foxhole prayers. Now my prayers are what? Sincere. Boosting. And you dope sick. And you don't want to go to jail dope sick. Foxhole prayers. Foxhole prayers. Now my prayers are what? Sincere. I sincerely pray today. Help me. Lead me. Guide me. Protect me. Motivate me. Correct me. Help me. Empower me. Edify me. Prayer. Tired of being a bum. Tired of being living lower than my standards. I want to live as a better Christian, a better Muslim, a better, um, uh, listen, whatever the religion is. I want to be a better man, a better husband, a better father. Prayer. And when you pray, you got to be patient. Who working on patience? Is that important? What happened to the man who lose patience? Don't practice patience. They say he become an impatient. Who, who eat at Chick-fil-A? I like Chick-fil-A, but you're going to wait to eat Patience. How about a fisherman who like to fish? Fishing is real relaxing. But you got to put the bait on the hook and throw that bait, that, throw, throw that hook in the water and patiently wait for your supper. Who like going to comedy shows? If a comedian up there, still, up there telling jokes, but he rushed the joke because he has no patience to tell the joke, he kills the joke. Patience is real important. You've been locked up, you know about patience. You've been a pin dot at the 10 o'clock. Know about patience. Patience is very important. Pray for it and wait for it. Pray for it and wait for it. And while we waiting, we gotta persevere through all storms. Drug dreams, stay clean. More bills than money, stay clean. Got a warrant for your arrest, stay clean. <laughs> Kids acting crazy, stay clean. The dog changes mind, he up the street, listen. Stay clean, I don't give a damn what happened. You go to the doctor, you hear something that scares you. Stay clean. I don't give a damn what happens. We don't get high. We persevere. We persevere through all storms. How about humility? Asking for what? Help. I can't do this by myself. I need help. I still have drug dreams and I got a pocket full of money. Help. They offer me drugs on the phone. When I get on the phone, all they talk about is drug talk. Help. I got a beautiful lady, but I beat her ass sometimes when I get angry. Help. Help. Got to be humble and ask for help. The help is out here. We just got to what? Ask for it. The help is out here. We just have to ask for it. Stay in prayer. Stay patient. 
persevere when storms come, because they're coming, but we stay clean. I don't care if they come, I ain't getting high. Humility, asking for help. How about honesty? Who still want to get drunk? You shaking your head, brother, you do? <laughs> okay, what's stopping you? Nothing. Nothing? Me, I guess, I live right around the corner. Okay, all right. Well, something about you don't want to do it today, right? People help me get an apartment to the VA, so it'd be not for nothing. So, okay. okay. I think about it as a selfish disease, so I didn't get the apartment on my own. In fact, I didn't even deserve the apartment, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But I got it. Uh-huh. Anybody hear that? Somebody helped him get an apartment. Very only, good. Only because I was in the service. I didn't nope. do anything special. Okay. But well, thank God you got it. Why are you here? You working on you? I just got here. Friday. Okay. I'm sleeping a lot. All right, that's good. I'm tired as shit. Okay. And that's the dumb probably got to go up a little bit, but I'm hanging in there. That's awesome. I think I'm leaving, but you got to give it at least a couple weeks here. Very good. Very good, brother. Stay encouraged, bro. Stay motivated. Keep you in prayer. How much time you got clean? How much time you got clean? Saturday. Hey, all right. God bless you, brother. All right, encouragement. Encouragement, really important. Honesty. Anybody else want to get high, get drunk? Or your mouth closed? First of the month? Listen. That used to be my, listen. I had, yeah, I had to say it. First of the month, come the night before, you wouldn't see me. I'd disappear. I'd be like David, David Copperfield. <laughs> I always disappear when the first of the month, when the first of the month checks come. Yo, out. Well, not today. Honesty. Be honest. How about forgiveness? Is it for them or for us? Easy said than what? Very good. How about accept to surrender? Accept to surrender. That's important. A lot of people say, yo, surrender. Have you surrendered? But what, surrender to what? The lifestyle. But if I still love the lifestyle, I ain't going to surrender to the lifestyle. Anybody hear that? If I still like drinking and drugging and smoking and cussing and fighting and shooting, selling guns and, 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 you know, and chaos and mayhem and chaos, if I still love it, I won't surrender to it. I don't give a damn what you tell me, what you put in front of me. I haven't what? Except the fact that that lifestyle is over. So I won't surrender. It's only to I accept the fact that that life is over that I'm ready to what? Surrender. I'm 51 years old. What do we do now when all that lifestyle is out of our system? A lot of us get bored. And when we get bored, that void need to get what? Replaced with something. Ben and Jerry's, Gino cheesesteaks. What we do? <laughs> Anybody talking about? <laughs> yeah. What you say, coffee? Eat and drink coffee. <laughs> How about your high power? Yeah, feel that void. Anybody hear that? And with my high power, I have joy, all right? I'm broke with externally, but guess what? Internally, I'm rich. How about listening? Is that important to listen? You gotta listen. Yes. You don't learn if you don't listen. Come on. And I, I went to my stepson. We went to go get his driver's test today down on Oregon Avenue. And I told him on the way down there, whatever you do, use your signals. <laughs> whatever you do, make sure your seatbelt is on. And we didn't have the money because he didn't have insurance for the car that he was driving. So he had to, we had to rent a car, their car, $50, right? For those who need to get their license, $50, right? And you get there early, listen, nobody really there. You can get in there, whatever like that. So he did good. He took off. He, he, you got to turn the car on. If you don't turn the car on, you fail right there. Still, come on, get your ass out of the car, right? So he, he remember, he turned the car. Listening, though, listening, hearing, and listening. So he turned the cars on. He, he moved forward. I said, all right, y'all, all right, Dave, get that license. And then and I'm thinking he know about the goddamn signals. So he go in. He parallel park. He, he good. The lady tell him, you get three ins and three outs. After that, you lose. So he get in there, boom, tight. He don't signal to go in. He don't signal to go out. That's 32 points. The lady said he failed. He wasn't listening. Or he forgot that we walked around what? The shopping center, here he come, coming. Hall jumped out of the car and then he got to go back July the 1st. All because of lack of what? Listening. When he had, he had it, but he lost it. Cause he just wouldn't listen or he just forgot. Or maybe she was just like, you know how some people get you distracted and you forget because they doing all this talk and you want to be perfect. I don't know what was going on, but you got to listen, real important. Women love to talk. They want their man to what? Listen. All right, that's real right there. I'm listening today, all right? I thank God for the woman that God put in my life. 
But if she decides to leave, then listen, it's going to be all right. I'll still love her. I'll be mad for a little bit, but I get over it. But we'll still be friends. But that's really important. How about purpose? This is big for all men. Know your purpose, you find your passion, and you never work again. How many men here know their purpose? That's important. Learn Learning yours, very good. Are you good with your hands? Figure it out. Are you good with your mind? You're a good thinker? Try to figure it out. Find your purpose, you find your passion, and you never work again. Oh, certified peer specialist. I heard the next class is in two weeks. This month right here. And if you can't catch that class, you probably can catch the next class. Find your purpose, a certified peer specialist. And guess who need them? Fairmount Behavioral, Eagleville, Recovery Centers of America, Pyramid. We, are, we speak at all those places. You hear what I'm saying? Kirk Bride definitely need men. Need men. Cause a lot of people that work there never shot dope, never smoked coke, never did drugs, but they got a job. And some of them don't understand how it is being a recovering addict. When you get irritable, when you get frustrated, when you want to get high and you got intrusive memories, some of them they laugh and look down at us. Why are they here working? Why so, can't you class them if you don't know about if you know about experience? If you know experience of drugs, how can you what if I read it? Reading read the books. Yeah, 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 reading the books. Another thing too, vicariously. Some of them family members were what? Drug addicts. Okay, yeah. You follow what I'm saying? But they never experienced it. But never experienced it, right. But they experienced it through what? They family members. Family members yeah. There you go. Alright. So they probably could tell, you know, you know, he high. His forehead hitting his damn knees. He high. His eyes big as his damn room. He's sweating like he just jumped in the pool. He high. Everybody hear that? He talking too much. He high. He cleaned up the whole goddamn room. Dolphins are the best cleaners. They signs. But anyway, that's how they know. Vicariously through family members or what? Or loved ones or people in general. You follow what I'm saying? But they have the experience. Some can help for those who really want to. Because a lot of us are recovering addicts. We know how to get high. But we need to learn how to what? Stop getting high. And that's when they come in. They help us. Clinically. Cl 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 how do you say that? Clinically about how the mind works and dopamines and serotonins the pleasure release chemicals of the brain that's some of the areas they can help us and we can learn if our minds are open back to that how about this right here who got faith your life will get better faith without works is what huh? dead yeah. faith without works is what right I got faith but I'm not putting no work in very good how much time you got clean soldier hey alright all bless Fave, my ghetto mobile down there. You look at that window, look at my car, you might start laughing. It's okay. I got hit by Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer going to Valley Forge. That's another, that's another place I need men too, Valley Forge. That's our brandy wine. We do groups out there every Tuesday. When you look at my car, he cracked my radiator and knocked the, lot, knocked, knocked the eye out. I got one eye driving through doing nighttime. I don't got stopped one time. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't brag about it. Listen, this is my ghetto mobile. $30, fill the tank up. I ride around the corners and all that, man. It's a beautiful car. <laughs> Beautiful car, right? I got a 750 BMW home, LI. But the transmission problems. I like my little, I'm taking my time getting that car fixed. You hear me? Because I'm not, I'm not worrying about what? Looking good today. I just want to what? Live good. I ain't worrying about looking good. I'm worrying about living good. That's why I'm at. Last one is love, L O V E. Everybody love themselves today? They working on loving themselves? A man who loves himself, will he get high again? Very good. Because he won't do nothing to what? Destroy the gift that God gave him. Very good. Good group, as always. Jobs. I got this information right here called Cisco. I've seen these on the, the um, track the trailers. Cisco, 600 Packer Avenue. They need forklift drivers. And if you don't have a forklift license, they will get you one. Anybody catch that? Right here. 600 Packer Avenue, South Philadelphia. Number two, CSC, One Lincoln Financial. Her name is Maria. Ask for Maria. I didn't hire you on the spot. On site interviews. Get them a call. That's Maria. What's that doing? I think it's like a warehouse, I think. Okay. Like warehouse work. All right. On site. Uh, on site um, hiring. Um, financial field. I stand there by the um, where the Eagles play at. Somewhere down there. All right. Um, JBS. Slaughterhouse. Always hiring. $18 an hour plus. Anybody hear that? You don't have to be on the killing floor if you don't like to kill animals. You can be down there getting the food ready for the trucker trailers and take it to the supermarket. All right? 
JBS, thought you were $18 an hour. Any high ex offenders. And they get paid every week. 215-723-5555. On site staffing, on 5th Street, always got work. Trinity Staffing, I heard it can help you get in a union with them. And if you get in a union, you be going state to state. One guy started with Trinity Staffing, got in a union, started making like $22 to $23 an hour hanging lights. That's Trinity Staffing. The Eagles, the Flyers, the Sixers, etc., etc. People ready. Like labor ready, it's called people ready. All right? And then guess what? You pick the job you want, what time you want, and they got the prices and all that. People ready. You can do, look that all up on your phone. Northeast Builders, windows and doors. They hire ex offenders. Northeast Builders, windows and doors. Paratransit. I used to do drive for them for two years. CCT Connect. This matter of fact, our, our lot is right up the street. Erie and Torsdale. Virgo. That's a paratransit company. Keystone. That's another one. Always hiring. All right. It depends on you. What's, what's the what's the um what's the um the behavior on your jacket? You know what I'm saying? But they do hire ex offenders. For those who got trauma issues, JJPI. Guy told me about this yesterday at um at um Bowling Green. JJPI. They start putting that on the board. Brothers who've been traumatized and need somebody to talk to. They say they thorough too. They real thorough. He said. I said I'm gonna go up there and play crazy or play hurt just to go up there and find out how they how they train. That's how I'm I'm, I'm into this. I love this. 100 South Broad Street, the land entitlement building. Also in that building right there is back on my feet. Back on my feet. You run or walk five miles a day. They get up five o'clock in the morning. They get you new sneakers, sweatsuits, um, shirts, all of that. Back on my feet. And they help you with your rent. Go program. Back on my feet. Same building with JJPI. 100 South Broad Street. That's the land entitlement building. Home health care. I do that also. Anybody want to do home health care? Blessings is one. Savvy is another one. Caring Help is another one. All American. That's second in Allegheny. Um, the Patriot. I forgot what Patriot is. Patriot is real crazy, right? Blessings Broad in Lehigh. Savvy is out um, Folsom, PA. Caring Help is at Broad in uh, Winger Hawkins. All right? But that's home health care. If you got a loved one and they need your system to help take care of them and you get paid, you can do that. Or you have nobody to take care of. You sign up with them, they'll send you out to take care of people. That's why these spiritual principles is very important because you take these principles with you to work. Um, education, certified peer specialist, AFIT Market, that's the Board of Mental Health. AFIT Market, certified peer specialist, community college, for those who've been locked up and you want to go to school and you're tired of being bored and idle and messing up. Community college, reentry program, good program. And you get a, everybody get a kickback. One girl I know get five thousand a semester. Everybody get a refund check at community college. All right. So I think it's for those definitely for those who've been locked up. But if you've been on drugs, that might you might qualify also. But call down there and find out. BH10. That stands for behavior health something ten. But you can get all those classes on your phone. Narcon, Narcon training, relapse prevention, um, dealing with the youth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Pick the class you want. Take the class. You get a certification. And it look good on your resume. When you go to Horizon House. Uh oh, I forgot to put this one up here. OVR, oh, Horizon House. Thank you, Lord. Horizon House. That's at 30th and Chestnut. 30th and Chestnut, Horizon House. And ask for the OVR program. OVR stands for Occupational Vocational Rehabilitation. You get $250 a week. You get a monthly pass. And they help you get an OSHA license. Anybody hear that? 30th and Chestnut, that's Horizon House. Go to Horizon House, ask about the OVR program. You want your CDLs? They pray for it. They pay for it for free. You cut hair? They give you that for free. Want to go back to school? They help you. It's free of charge. OVR. 30th and Chestnut. 30th and Chestnut. All right? Somebody told me that. If they ain't there, they definitely have 60th and what? Market. Either one of them told two locations, you'll find Horizon House. All right? You'll find Horizon House. OVR program, good program, all right? Housing, pathway to housing, pathway to housing. I heard that's a good program. Help you get a, a caseworker and all that, and they help navigate you through getting your own place. Pathway to housing, Google them. Rapid housing, 1608 Walnut Street. For those who need, um, and chronically, what? Homeless, triple one status. Contacts, they might know where you gotta go to get contacts. I heard like Project Home. I don't know if that's, that's accurate or not. But you gotta find a place where you gotta do contacts. So many contacts, you qualify for triple one status. Once you get triple one status, you on the what? 
the waiting list of getting housing. Anybody hear that? Triple one status, all right? Rapid housing, 1608 Walnut Street. And when you get with them, they pay your rent for one whole year. And they help furnish your place. Rapid housing, 1608 Walnut Street. First time home buyers, I'm about to do this right here. They said, never tell, some, never tell somebody to do something that you probably never did, whatever, like they had no experience. But first time home buyers, I pay rent. And I'm ready to pay mortgage. Can I pay too much money? It's a corner house, West Philadelphia. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. But it's time to what? Grow up. Financially grow up. Right? And start paying what? Mortgage. So I'm ready to sign up for a first time home buyer. And I heard also my, my stepdaughter's boyfriend. He getting this program right here. He said, your credit score don't need to be that high. Like a 590. Oh, wow. Right? And guess what? You pay like $1,000 down. You ever hear that? But the cheaper you pay, listen, you're going to get what you pay for. Keep that in mind too, right? So so just get your credit up. If it ain't up, and start saving that money and start look, 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 paying, praying, and preparing to walk into your home. First time home buyers. That's real important. I'm tired of paying rent. I'm ready to start paying mortgage. Project home, 15th and what? Fairmount. Habitat for Humanity. I heard you build a house. They help you build, they build you a house. Habitat for Humanity. Help build a house. They help get you a house. You see that guy, Tree Masters. Anybody see that guy, Tree Masters on TV? I like that guy. He walked through your backyard. He see a forest back there. He said, yeah, okay. He see it, then he drew it. Then he built it. Tree Masters. He built Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, a tree house in a tree. For real. Vision. Seeing past what you see. Huh? I heard him. I never seen him. I heard him. Tree Masters. Yeah, he nice. He sharp. He got his team and all of that. Yeah, he's a team and all that. Water fountains, a toilet, and a tree. He see it, he draw it, he build it. Vision. Can you see past that crack pipe? Can you see past pain and see what? Power in your pain. See past that hurt and see healing for your hurt. If you can't see it, we won't believe it, and we damn sure won't achieve it. Housing, is, vision is very important. And Habitat for Humanity, and my number's right here, as always. The brothers, y'all want to come out? Y'all want to share? We need y'all, all right? Mondays, we have Recovery Centers of America. Every other Monday, we share that Monday with what? Re-entry, 34th and Powerton, right on the corner, right up there by LaSalle. You want to come out and share? That's at 6 o'clock, all right? We'd love to have you. Tuesdays, Bowling Green. You want to take a trip? You want to ride? We go right up to Brandywine and we have a group up there. Wednesdays, tonight, we want to hear once every month here, all right? But we at ODAT, 17th and Point Breeze. One day at a time. That's every that's every other Wednesday. Thursday, we have Beacon Point. Used to be called Ambrosia. Everybody know what I'm talking about? The hospital at Allegheny. We're there on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock. Call us up. You want to come out and share. Fridays, we are Pyramid. Langhorn. Love it. Saturday, Kirk Bride from 10 to 4. Sunday, God willing, we at what? Valley Forge. And after that, we go what? The Fairmount Behavioral. So that's me in a nutshell with 12 dogs and a lady and kids and bills and loving what I do. Find your purpose. You'll never find your, you'll always find your passion because you finally found your purpose. Is everybody good? Mm. That's good. All right, y'all. Any questions? Any comments? Thanks. You're welcome. You. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Who woke us up? Uh, God. Grant us serenity change. to change. accept the change. things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours, be done. Amen. All right, y'all. All right, Rob. You're welcome. And that be up on.